Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on Monday, November 11th. First week of November, or sort of first week and a half is in the books. Uh, here we are on a Monday. It was pretty quiet over the weekend. Spanish elections were a bit of a mess, but um, not sure what that means in the global picture of things. I think Spain has quietly been a mess um, since the Catalonian conflict has started, so I don't think that really adds any new uh, piece to the puzzle, but it probably doesn't help uh, Eurien. Uh, but we're looking at this Eurien here, kind of questioning what the heck is going on with Eurien. We've got stocks at all-time highs. We have European indices higher. We have boons lower, uh, yields in Europe higher. France crossed the zero threshold and now is yielding positive on the tens, uh, and yet Euro Yen sort of just doesn't really want to go up. Um, unlike Dollar Yen that broke 109.30, Euro Yen did not break this key 121.50. And so here we are uh, heading lower again today. The low's been 12. Uh, what we're looking for now is maybe a touch at 120, the figure, a bounce, and then we will sell through if we get this exact scenario. Uh, vol still sucks. 30 point range in Euro Yen. If you look at all um, the currencies last week, Vol was terrible. Uh, Euro dollar did drop 120 points, but there was no intraday vol to speak of. It was just sort of a one-way drip. Dollar yen did nothing. You know, 60-point range couldn't couldn't sustain new highs. Uh, Aussie, CAD, Kiwi did nothing last week. So vol's lower. Uh, we're looking for catalysts. We're trying to be patient. Um, but Euro Yen is on the frontal load today, so we're looking for print at 120, then some sort of bounce. Uh, then we need to look around and see what's happening with our friends in the boon market and see what happens there. Let's go to uh, Euro Dollar. Traded down to 17 on Friday on just really a nothing day. But you look, one, two, three, four. Five red days. You don't see that too, too often. Um, and like this last time, we did this one, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh day, we printed a turn bar. It doesn't look like this is going to be a turn bar here. Um, Euro yen is offered. I'm not sure what's going to make this thing jump. 110.10, we think, is support. Maybe this makes a slow turn. Um, we've kind of lost our good feel for euro dollar. We do like this higher eventually. Uh, we do not think we're going to be revisiting this 109 region. But we have no evidence of a turn. Zero. Zero evidence of a turn. So we're not going to force this. Maybe the market will turn like it did here. Uh, down in this 109 area. Or like it did here at 110.80 where it just kind of slowly, quietly turned. Uh, we'll see. We are not bearish euro dollar, um, but the prices are telling us not to be bullish yet, so we're on the sidelines just watching. Cable dribbled through that uh, 127.90 area. There was probably money to be made. We were, I mean, it was uh, 7 p.m. Swiss time on Friday. We were not at the desk. Not sure what to do with this sterling here. Uh, we do have some data out of the UK today. Industrial production, construction, construction output, and um, sort of three month average GDP and plus the September GDP, which is not super useful. Um, so we have sort of growth uh, numbers out of the UK. We'll see if they're meaningful. You know, everyone, all eyes are still on Brexit. All eyes are still on this election. Looking for sideways action in the sterling market. Uh, 
not much to do there. Let's take a look at dollars R. We were on to something last week. We just didn't have the patience for it. We talked about buying 88s, um, 78s, and 68s. We did that, and then we just kind of scratched it um, at 80, the whole cluster of uh, buys. But now, as you can see, this gap is going to get filled. Um, just a reminder for those of you who don't live in South Africa, because I don't have to remind the locals, this country is screwed. Um, fiscally, they're in trouble. Uh, rule of law, they're in trouble. Uh, graft, looks like they're in trouble. Climate-wise, also in trouble uh, with some water shortage problems. Lots of trouble uh, in South Africa. It's hard for me to understand why anyone would, would want to buy the RAND. Um, so just be careful with this. I hate to be such a, a, a ned, netty negative, um, but uh, doesn't look that great in SA. So we do expect this to this gap to be filled, and I guess we're waiting for you know the next ball to drop um, on negative news from SA. Anyway. Euro Swiss on the charts looks like we're getting like this sort of funny head and shoulders and looks like it wants to turn down. Um, neckline's pretty straightforward at 73. Euro Swiss typically does not break well, so I don't I don't expect this to be a break trade unless there's news. Maybe a negative tweet. Um, something negative in Europe, I don't know, but um, you don't want to break trade Euro Swiss, but you do want to watch this 73 level. This will give you some keys on whether Euro is still going to have some more downside uh, or whether Dollar Swiss uh, has turned and ready to go back lower, which I think is quite likely. Uh, watch this Euro Swiss 109.73. Maybe not as a tradable level, more as an indication type level. Aussie N turned going to be a second red day here. Um, you know, the trend lines here are too steep. You can't really draw this. And you're just kind of watching and waiting, looking for trade news. Um, the big uh, low here is 56. We traded 60 today. So maybe, you know, this could become a tradable level if we get a print at 56 and then a bounce um, this along with euro yen and all of the yen crosses look at dollar yen as we speak uh, just drifts down another 10 points dollar yen's been a pain in the ass right we had a lot of eggs in that basket up through 30 um, just no no love up there I would not be surprised if this thing just takes a digger and dives left hand side this week. I don't know what the catalyst is going to be, but a lot of money was thrown at that uh, dollar yen short 10 years, short the price of 10 years long yield and short gold trade on Thursday. A lot of money was thrown at that. The dollar yen guys are all stopping out here. If you left a 30 pointer, um, your stop was at 109 the figure. I don't know. Looks uh, looks looks kind of negative. First blush here today looks kind of negative. Gold. We talked about getting long in front of 1450. Nobody got given anything. This is the gold future, by the way. GCZ. This is not cash. Um, 53 is the big support. Uh, I wonder if these bids down here at 50. 51, 52, and 53 are going to be very lonely bids, and they're not going to get given. Because if risk turns today and risk turns this week, gold goes back higher. Uh, a little counterintuitive to the charts here, but that was just a stop loss run from 1480 to, uh, to 50, 58. Nothing more than that. Um, are there more stops? Yes, maybe, but if risk if risk does turn, um, 
people will move to gold. And then finally, let's look at our S&P chart here. Still bullish, so we do nothing. If you want to try and sell high ones today, you want to sell sort of 3105s. Um, there will be some gamma around 31, the figure, so that's probably a safe place to sell just on the day as a day trade. Uh, otherwise, we're waiting for confirmation of of negativity. These hourly bars mean nothing. We haven't even made a new daily low today. It looks bearish. We're down 10 handles. Um, it's stretched on the top side, but we still don't have bearish action. Your first sort of bearish action is can we close on an hourly basis below 70? But it doesn't really get serious until we get down below 30.30. So... Be patient with stocks. This will turn. It may turn today. Uh, it may turn in 2020 on April 17th. The point is, is you just never know. Um, and you need price to confirm your view. Your view is not good enough. You need price to confirm. So wait for price to confirm. All right. I've said enough. Uh, look, we're watching this Urian downside today. We're going to see if we can get a good tradable setup. Um, and that's our main focus. Otherwise, we're going to also see if Aussie Yen does a setup for us and just keep our eyes on the news to see why um, why so bearish on a Monday morning open in Europe. All right, good luck there, guys. Make some dough. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.